Hula hooping is no longer just for after school recess. Today we have Pamela Crawford of Hoopnautica here to show us a few moves you can do with the hula hoop. I want to make sure that you have one foot in front of the other, okay. knees bent at all times, pelvis tucked in, chest and head up. Let's place that hoop on your lower back with the hoop parallel to the floor, and once you give it an even push, you're gonna shift that weight forward and backwards. Okay. Good, so let's give that a push. So this is your basic foundation, and just waist hooping alone, you're burning 400 calories an hour. So yeah, just having fun. Yeah, your core feels so Absolutely. tight because you have to really push. So we've worked our core, our glutes, and our thighs. Let's keep taking it further down to our calves. Okay. The next move is a 360 spin. Do that one more time for you. That was graceful. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still in your nice. forward stance. Okay. Whatever direction your hoop is going, that's what foot you're gonna put in front. As you push forward, you're gonna kick off with that back foot using your calf muscles, and as soon as you land, with your full spin, you're gonna engage those power points wow. again. That's great, yeah, you have a lot of power going on with yes. that calf. Strong front push. So, I've got this move down so far. Yep, doing great. So now, for here, we're mm -hmm. gonna push it forward. Yep, using those calves, and as you land, yes. I don't feel as graceful as you, Pamela, no, but I'm perfect. sure it's the first for all of us. <laughs> Just adding some fun to your fitness. So this is a movement where you're working the body, taking your time, and a nice way to keep your hoop even as you're moving through this step. So let's get our hoop started. Okay. You can have one foot in front of the other. Good, so we're gonna start down first, coming okay. down, lifting up, bringing those legs together, and then the next leg back. Good, so again with this, you're working your hams, really squeezing oh. the glutes as you come up, that's all right. Yeah, that's tough to keep the oh, hoop going. Yeah, you're as really you're keeping that pelvis lunging. tucked in. Yeah, keep that pelvis tucked in, keep those abs engaged. Mm -hmm. Down, good, lifting up. up, perfect. Placing the hoop above your head, palms facing forward while the hoop's behind you. Okay. Take your right hand, twist it 180. Both hands are facing the same direction. Then you'll take that left hand, twist it 180. So your palms are always forward or backwards, in front and then behind. And as you start to pick up this speed, you start to go into your handoff halo and you'll start to feel the burn immediately. Oh yeah. So since your lower half is free, you can do lunges, squats, plies, whatever you prefer to do. We're gonna do some basic squats, so making sure your feet are about hip width apart, knees and toes facing forward. We're gonna come down as if you're sitting in a chair and then pulling up, really wow, engaging those lower Wow, that works your abs. back too, because you have Absolutely. to keep really good posture. Yes, bringing it down. And then of course you can speed up your hoop for more resistance or trick your body sometimes by slowing that hoop down and then speeding it up again. I love it. My arms are burning. My shoulders are fried. <laughs> more right seconds. Now. You great. Got it. <laughs> Good. I really got something nice. to teach my nieces and nephews now with the hula hoop. <laughs> Pamela, thank you so much. Those thank moves you. were awesome. By far the most fun workout I've ever tried. Great, yeah, it's all about Hoopnautica. We have travel hoops and other hoops on the website as well at hoopnautica.com. You can do this in your backyard with your friends in the park, or you can find hundreds of teachers across the US at hoopnautica.com. Awesome, check it out, you guys. Thanks for watching Pop Sugar Fitness.